Hey everyone, I'm Neng Zhang from Tsinghua University. I'm introducing a highly efficient architecture of New Hope NIST on FPD using no complexity NTT and INTT. This present includes a brief introduction, the low complexity NTT and INTT, the hardware architecture, and the implementation results. PQC algorithms are required to resist quantum attacks. New Hope NIST is such a lattice-based PQC algorithm for key encapsulation mechanism. New Hope NIST is a variant of New Hope UCNIX and New Hope Simple. In the following, I will use New Hope to refer to New Hope NIST. NIST started a computation for the PQC standardization and New Hope survived the second round, but didn't make it into the third round months ago. But our proposed low-complexity NTT and INTT can be utilized by some other candidates in the PQC algorithms and some fully homomorphic encryption schemes, such as Crystal Dilithium, QTesna, Falcon, LTV, and BFV. The main mathematical objects in New Hope are polynomials over the ring. The modulus Q and the order N are chosen to be special parameters, so that the primitive nth root of unit and its square root exist. In this way, the polynomial multiplication in New Hope can be evaluated with NTT and INTT which are the most time-consuming operations in New Hope. New Hope is an encryption-based KM. There are three main functions, key generation, encryption, and decryption, as shown in the table below. Each function consists of several NTT and INTT operations. Let's see the multiplication over the ring. When the modular polynomial is arbitrary, the multiplication can be evaluated with convolution theory. The size of NTT and INTT are doubled. After INTT, a reduction with the modular polynomial is required. When fx equals x to the power of n plus 1, the multiplication of the ring can be evaluated with negative wrapped convolution. This method avoids doubling the size of NTT and INTT and the explicit reduction, but it requires a pre-processing in NTT and a post-processing in INTT. The pre-processing denotes the modular multiplications by the powers of gamma before FFT. The post-processing denotes the skinning by the point size n and the modular multiplications by the powers of gamma after FFT. Area and speed are two important criteria for a hardware design. Area on FPG means the consumptions of IOT, register, DSP, and block RAM and speed refers to clock cycles and frequency. In a hardware designer's perspective, low area and high speed are usually contradictory for a specific application. Low speed usually requires larger area. Normally, designer has to make trade-offs between area and speed. Our solution explored a new design trade-off where high speed and low area are both achieved to some extent. This is achieved by reducing the computational complexity of NTT and INTT. Now let's have a look at the low complexity NTT. In NTT, FFT requires half n times log n modular multiplications, and preprocessing requires n modular multiplications. For the point n being 1024, the number of modular multiplications of preprocessing accounts for 
the smaller the value of n, the higher the proportion of the preprocessing. When n is 16, the ratio can be up to 33%. It can be seen that the cost of the preprocessing is considerable when the n is not big enough. As a result, we will find ways to eliminate the preprocessing to reduce the complexity of NTT. A low complexity NTT with tweet factors computed on the fly is proposed by Roy. We follow the work but with tweet factors pre computed. This method merges the pre processing into the DIT FFT by merely changing the value of the pre computed tweet factors. The derivation of the low complexity NTT is inspired by the strategy of the Cooley Turkey FFT. We follow the divide and conquer method of FFT that divides in time domain. First, the pre processing and the FFT are written together as the assumption of n terms. Second, the assumption is split into two groups according to the parity of the index of A. Third, the equation is grouped into two parts according to the size of index i. Note that a had 0 and a had 1 are half endpoint entities of a sub double j and a sub double j plus 1. In this way, endpoint entity can be resolved with two half endpoint entities. The same decimation process can be applied recursively until two-point entity. The level figure is the data flow of a eight-point low complexity entity. The preprocessing is not required anymore. The red figure is the butterfly of the low complexity entity. The differences between the low complexity entity and the classic DIT FLT are the tweet factors. The blue parts are the same as the FFT. The red parts are the differences. Because gamma sub double m is the square root of omega sub m, we have this equation. We don't need to evaluate the product of powers of omega and gamma on the fly. Only the n powers of gamma need to be pre-computed and stored. This is the final low complexity NTT algorithm without pre-processing. The difference with the classic DIT FFT is present in blue color. This method eliminates the modular multiplications of pre-processing. The computational complexity of NTT is reduced from half n times log n plus n to half n times log n. This method has low additional timing cost or hardware resource cost. Now let's have a look at our low complexity INTT. In the INTT, the FFT still requires half n times log n modular multiplications. And the post processing requires double n modular multiplications, where the pre processing requires n modular multiplications. So the cost of the post-processing is even greater than the pre-processing for the same size n. When n is 1024, the number of modular multiplications of post-processing accounts for 29%. When n is 16, the ratio can be up to 50%. Popperman reduced the complexity of INTT by merging the scaling of powers of gamma into the FFT. We further merge the scaling of N into the FFT. This is achieved by changing the value of the pre-computed tweet factors of INTT and slightly modifying the butterfly unit of the DRF FFT. The derivation of the low-complexity INTT 
is inspired by the strategy of the gentleman sander FFT. We follow the divide and conquer method of FFT that divides in frequency domain. First, the post-processing and the FFT are written together as a summation of n items. Second, the summation is split into two groups according to the size of index of A height. Third, the equation is grouped into two parts according to the parity of I. Note that A sub double I and A sub double I plus 1 correspond to half n point NTT. In this way, n point NTT can be resolved with two half n point NTTs. The same decimation process can be applied recursively until two point NTT. The left figure is the data flow of a eight point low complexity NTT. The post-processing is not required anymore. The red figure is the butterfly of the low-complexity INTT. The difference is about the low-complexity INTT and the DIF FFT are the two factors and the multiplication by a half after each butterfly. The blue parts are the same as the FFT. The red parts are the differences about the two factors and the yellow parts are the differences about the multiplications by a half. Similar to the low complexity NTT, we have this equation. We don't need to evaluate the product of powers of omega and gamma on the fly. Only the n powers of gamma need to be pre-computed and stored. This is the final low complexity NTT algorithm without post processing. The differences with the DIF FFT are present in blue color. This method eliminates the modular multiplications of the post processing. The computational complexity of NTT is reduced from half n times log n plus double n to half n times log n. This method has low additional timing cost in our architecture. It just needs to slightly modify the butterfly unit. Now let's have a look at the architecture of the low complexity NTT and the NTT. It consists of a coefficient memory, a tweet factor memory, two butterfly units, and a control unit. Two butterfly units are used to speed up the throughput. They perform in pipeline mode. RAM NTT is designed as a multi-bank memory to meet the bandwidth requirements of the two BFUs. We follow the address generator proposed by one. It works well when log n is even. But there are address conflicts when log n is old. We rearrange the execution order of the NAS S loop to avoid the address conflict. Because the DIT and DIF decimation methods are used for NTT and INTT respectively, two different butterfly structures are required. We propose a compact butterfly unit to support the two kinds of butterflies. It consists of one modular multiplier, one modular adder, two modular subtractors, two modular multipliers by a half, and some maxis. The modular multiplication by a half doesn't need a real multiplication. When x is even, it just needs a redshift. When x is odd, it needs a redshift and an addition. We propose a low complexity modular multiplication for the modulus 12,289. This modulus has the property that 2 to the power of 14 is congruent with 2 to the power of 12 minus 1. This means that 
A data with more than 14 bits can be reduced by 2 bits with a subtraction. We recursively use this property to reduce the product result with 28 bits. Finally, the product is reduced with some additions and subtractions of a low more than 14 bit data. This is the architecture of the modular multiplication. Only one multiplication is required to generate the product. No additional multiplication is required for the reduction because there is no if else or where statement. Our method is time constant. With the proposed low complexity NTT and NTT, we designed this architecture for New Hope NIST. It supports all the functions of key generation, encryption, and decryption. The blocks RAM NTT, RAM W, and BFUs follow the architectures of NTT and NTT. There are two additional RAMs to store intermediate data, as the two BFUs can deal with two pointwise operations. The two RAMs and most other blocks are designed to be able to process two data points every cycle to match the doubled bandwidth. To further reduce clock cycles, time hiding is achieved by simultaneously performing operations without resource conflict and data dependency. This is the algorithm for the encryption in New Hope. The operations in the seminar are performed simultaneously. In our architecture, a RAM may be read and write by operations in the same line, such as R2 at 93 and 95 in the algorithm. The reason is that the operations sequentially access the RAM. Thus, the operation that writes the RAM can be executed as soon as the data in the same address are read out by another operation. As a result, Although data dependencies exist, the operations can be performed simultaneously at the operation level. Let's have a look at the implementation results. The low complexity NTT, INTT, and New Hope NIST are implemented on a Cynix RTX 7 FPG, which is recommended by NIST and widely adopted in the evaluations. The hardware resources and the highest frequency are obtained from Vado with the default strategy for synthesis and implementation. We compare the implementation results of the low complexity NTT, NTT and other designs with the same point number and the modulus. The area time products are mirrored with IOUT, FF, DSP, and BRAM, respectively. As shown in this figure, our design is the fastest and has the smallest ATP. The implementation results of the New Hope NIST designs are compared in the figures. Our design is at least 2.5 times faster than other designs on similar devices. The consumed hardware resources are also small, especially the IOT and the DSP. The ATPs are at least 4.9 times smaller than other designs. Okay, this is a conclusion. We present the low complexity NTT and INTT, which eliminate both the pre-processing and the post-processing. With them, a highly efficient architecture of New Hope NIST is proposed. The implementation results show that the low complexity NTT, INTT, and the architecture of New Hope NIST have a clear advantage 
in both speed and ATP. Furthermore, the low complexity NTT and NTT can benefit other NTT inside algorithms. That's all. Thanks for listening.